Hey guys, here's the next project we're fixing to get started on. It's a big seawall. We've got a lower seawall right there that's failing, it's leaking, an upper retainer wall right there. We actually did this one right here behind me uh, last year, and a customer liked this one so much, she asked if we'd go ahead and do the same thing for her. So we've got an eight foot high exposed wall going in here, eight inch pilings. We're leaving the pilings up uh, 44 inches for a handrail. We're doing a double, triple two bait whale system. Type 316, 5 8 stainless steel tie back rods. I'll keep taking videos as we go to show the progress of this job. Alright, on this project here, we're installing the dead men piling first. Um, just so I can reach them because we've got an 8 foot high wall coming. I don't want to have to get up in the your backyard to our backyard of so we get all the dead men piling installed first then pull the rock away from the base of the seawall and install the new wall and we'll be able to tie to the dead men pilings. of the uh, old rock out of the way a little bit more to do down there at the end and then we'll start putting the pilings in, in the morning We've got most of our tie back system pilings already set clock to reach them before I move the rock out that will be about 12 foot behind the wall they're about 12 to 14 foot pilings driven down there. one of the fun parts of working on the water you get little squalls just pop up all of a sudden and it gets rough wind's blowing pretty good right now back at out here right now that wind is kicking look at that crazy build the seawall made some really great progress over here today in the past couple days actually got 18 of the 30 foot piling set for the naval style wall they're eight inch tip pilings we went just outside of the old wall there and connected to the existing wall we built here last year we'll be installing a triple Two sets of triple two bait whalers on this tomorrow, and then we'll get started with the vinyl. Already got our Deadman pilings in place in the back side, so we'll run some um, 5 8 type 316 stainless steel rods down to them. Get this wall tied back real good and secure. And hey, if y'all haven't liked the page yet, please give me a like. If y'all haven't subscribed yet, please give me a subscribe if you like the page try to upload every Friday now. I was trying to do it twice a week, but it's just it's too busy to do that right now. But I'll go ahead and try to get some good content uploaded every week of what we've been doing. And uh, hit the like and share if you don't mind. That great progress over there today. Got the whalers up. The guys are actually installing the pile wrap on the pilings right now. Got all the poles installed. We'll be uh, installing the filter cloth on the front side to stack the rocks on Monday. And then uh, we'll be starting with the uh, vinyl sheet piling, driving that in. Hey guys, got an early Monday morning start on this project over here. And thank God we got a little bit of breeze because it has been hot over here. But we're going to go ahead and get the filter cloth installed along the front of the pilings right now. We'll get that down. I'm going to go ahead and put a 2x6 uh, timber on top of that and then nail the filter cloth to it on the outside of the wall. Then I'm going to move some of that riprap back that I had moved out so I can get a little bit closer to the wall. 
We're gonna be installing 18 foot long sheets here. So I need to get as close as possible to the wall so I can pick those sheets up to get them interlocked with the other sheets uh, that are gonna be existing already. Um, this is gonna be a good project. Uh, Y'all stay tuned, keep watching, and I'll try to get the uh, more videos as we uh, progress with this job.
I think so. Feel something down there, Todd? We'll try it again. Got all the vinyl sheets in. We're installing the 5 8 stainless steel tieback rods now, type 316, to our tieback system. So I'm down here on the corner now digging this out. We have to remove the old wood wall that's on the neighbor's property. Of course, we'll be rebuilding that, and it's shot. So we're not going to leave him a leaking wall there. We'll rebuild a little bit right there and get that repaired. And then run a 20 foot wall back through here. Get this tied back properly. There's one there, and there's two more up in there, right there. We got the wall installed, the tieback systems are in now. The guys are putting some of the rods together at the very end, tightening it up, getting the wall lined up, and I got four dump trucks running today. We got probably about 40 loads of dirt, 20 yard loads that we're gonna be installing in this hole right here. It's such a big hole, I'm gonna wash some of the dirt down so it doesn't settle and uh, try to keep it all nice and compact. Because if you don't do the washing down after you get a good heavy rain, you'll get some holes in the backyard. And when that happens, the customer thinks the wall's leaking on them. Don't want that to happen. And if they've done like pavers or landscaping or whatnot, then it kind of messes all that stuff up also. Hey, what we got going on here now, we're doing a return wall. You can see right there in that section right there, right in that part of the wall, right, let's see if I can point to it, right there. <laughs> that is uh, where we're cut through the wall. We're doing a 20 foot return, so now we're gonna set a uh, 25 foot pole right there and put some whalers to it. We're gonna angle those whalers up just a little bit to contour the soil or angle it back up to the top of the hillside. You can see the erosion control block behind the wood wall is holding real well. It's holding every bit of that dirt back. And they only use six foot cloth. You can see there's a bottom of it right there. And they obviously had one of those old stack in place walls here at one time that don't work well along the shorelines because there's no foundation. Well, there's a little foundation, but there's no foundation that goes down into the ground. And once it gets undermined, everything just caves in. So unfortunately, she's got a pretty expensive riprap in front of a wood wall. Things we got to do here when we're trying to join the 
neighbor's wall back into our wall. This old wall is pretty rot down here, so we're going to do the best we can put the walls back together so we don't have any leaks in between there. We don't want to cause any problem with the neighbor because that could potentially be my next customer. We got that lower wood wall tied into our seawall now. So we don't have any leaks in there. You see a good tight connection. Went ahead and ran the filter cloth that we're going to be putting rock on all the way around in front of this uh, wood retainer wall also to give a little extra protection there. Also sealed up the back wall, you see right there where the top upper retainer wall is going to join in our vinyl wall. We've got a seal there also. Just don't want to prevent any, or we don't want to cause any leaks on the neighbor side. So we try to get everything sealed up real good. Now I'm going to take all this riprap here, broken concrete. Put it right back on top of this and get it all buried up. Got four loads of class three cord limestone riprap going in here. Here's the first of the trucks dumping out right now. Hey guys, check this out. We're real close to having this project all wrapped up. Got the hose going now. We're going to wash off some of the sand and the dirt that's on the rocks, make it look pretty, get the wall washed off. Got the dock installed, just a lower swim platform dock with a set of stairs. Got all four loads of class three and two riprap installed. Getting everything cleaned up now. Hey guys, thank you for your patience. I haven't been able to upload a video in a couple weeks. I've just been really busy working these two projects. And now I'm actually getting ready to move to start a third project. So I'm going to leave a couple guys here, getting the top cap installed, the cable rails installed, getting the project cleaned up. We're actually headed over to that big hillside project right now to pick up uh, some of the trash that we have down at the bottom of the hillside. Bring it over here, get it loaded on trailers, and then get hauled away. Then I'll uh, get some more videos of the next project we're starting. It's another 150-foot seawall with a uh, boathouse and dock, and it's a big tear out also. So there's no room to get in the backyard, so it's all going to be done by barge. If y'all haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe if you like the channel. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down if you got a comment. Leave me a comment. I try to get back to answer all the questions that I can, but uh, like I said, I stay pretty busy, so I'll try to get them answered just as quick as I can. Thank you, guys.